So we have this hand here where I have aces. And I just wanted to go over this hand. Um, they cut my audio. And I just kind of wanted to share my thought process here. Um, we see under the gun open. And we three bet, of course. And then we get this um, two-tone jack nine three board. And I'm already thinking here, um, we're going to see bet this 100% of the time. So I go ahead and see bet this um, one third. Uh, which I think is pretty standard here uh, with my entire range. So everything that I'm going to 3-bet, I'm going to continue. And then we get this king on the turn. And generally, like, um, in 3-bet pots, kings are pretty good for us, like king-high boards. But after we get called and we're holding the um, ace of diamonds ourselves here, we're blocking a bunch of his continuing range. So... I think to myself that we're probably supposed to bet here with aces something like 65% um, of the time. And you can't see this on screen, but off screen, I roll a 67. So I decide to go and check and follow the RNG. And then we get this awful um, river card, which is the 10. And um, obviously, when we get led into here, uh, I think we have what is a pretty annoying fold because obviously we start off with the best hand and so i decided after to go ahead and take a look at this hand in gto wizard and see if our thought process was correct so here we are in gto wizard looking at this hand um, a little while after we played it and if you've never used gto wizard before it gives you all the um, pre pre-flop solutions and um, it's, it will tell you everything, uh, even four bets. It's, it's really pretty cool. Um, this is the dynamic or the complex version. And it has some calling in here. It doesn't just always have like um, three bets from the hijack and the cutoff. Um, so it will allow you to skip ahead. I don't have to click fold for every single action. And we're going to put in the board here. And honestly, right now, I don't exactly remember it. It's the queen nine three i believe so it takes a second to solve i think they did put in a little delay um so you can't use it in real time i would see pretty much always checking here for the out of position player and what we're going to see here is that my initial thought process was correct um that we are betting a hundred percent of our range range here and um i don't use like this many sizes so I do simplify here to one third or two thirds. So I would always take the one third sizing here. Um, but the nice thing about GTO Wizard, especially the complex version, is if you wanted to, you could build a very dynamic game. I do try to simplify. So now we're looking at the out of position player and we get to see how often he check raises. Um, that's about 19% of the time, maybe a little closer to 20% of the time. Does a fair bit of folding and some calling um, so we take a quick look at that and then we're going to input the um, turn card here which i believe is the king of clubs and we can see on this turn card that the out of position player is checking 100 percent of the time and now we're going to look at what we're doing we can see that our range here is betting about 60 percent of the time now if we look at our specific hand uh, aces with ace of diamonds uh, we can see that we are betting um, something like uh, 55 to 60 percent of the time so I got fairly close here uh, with my guess and I said 65 percent and honestly it's an educated guess um, I do work with solvers quite a bit uh, we do look pretty smart here and guess fairly lucky, uh, getting pretty close. So I'm pretty happy with myself there. Um, and then we are going to see what we do to this river card, which is the 10 of hearts, um, bringing in the four card straight. And we don't really care what the out of position player is doing so much. Uh, we just want to see what our response is. And we can see here. Uh, we're almost always folding aces and the ace with the ace of diamonds is finding some bluffs 
but I just think that in practice here, we're going to be better off, especially at 50 NL, uh, just finding a fold. I stream poker on Twitch. In the description box below is a link to my page. Follow me there to know when I go live. Also remember to like and subscribe.